Hey guys, this is Dr. Yazan, and today is World Thrombosis Day. This is a global event raising awareness on blood clots. And to support their mission, I'll be launching my clot cast, which will be a series of episodes all about blood clots. Today's episode is going to be an introduction. What is thrombosis? What is a blood clot? Why is it such a big deal? And how do you recognize them? What are the symptoms? Thrombosis is the formation of a blood clot or thrombus inside a blood vessel. This could be in the veins, which are the vessels that go all the way to the heart, or in the arteries, which are the vessels that go away from the heart. The reason this could be such a serious condition is because it can lead to a lot of complications that could be life-threatening. In fact, one out of four worldwide deaths, one out of four, are related to complications of thrombosis. That's a big deal. That's a huge number. So why does it lead to so many deaths? Now, before I go into why or how it leads to such high morbidity and mortality worldwide, let's first talk about what a blood clot is. What is a blood clot? I'm sure you've heard all about it in the news and the media from someone you know. A blood clot is simply a clump of blood cells, primarily platelets, as well as clotting proteins known as coagulation factors or fibrin that stick together or coagulate together to form a gel-like mass that can obstruct blood vessels and obstruct the blood flow within these blood vessels. If this occurs inside an artery, then the blood clot could obstruct the blood flow in that artery, cutting the blood supply to whichever organ that artery was supplying. For example, if this was one of the arteries supplying the brain, then this could lead to brain infarcts or strokes. If this was one of the coronary arteries, then it could lead to a heart attack. In fact, it could affect any organ or even your eyes or limbs. Blood clots can also occur in the veins, most commonly in the lower extremities, and they can be very dangerous, especially if they occur in the deep veins of the legs. A deep vein thrombosis can break off and travel all the way to the lungs, causing a pulmonary embolism or a lung clot. These can be very serious and sometimes even fatal. The complications of blood clots can be quite serious and often life-threatening, especially if they affect a vital organ, such as our lungs or heart or brain. And that's why it's quite important to be aware of what the symptoms are, to recognize them, because the sooner you seek medical care, then the faster treatment can be started and the higher likelihood of survival and avoiding complications. Early recognition can save lives. So what are the symptoms of blood clots? As I mentioned previously, the most common type of venous blood clots or blood clots of the veins are the ones that occur in the legs. A deep vein thrombosis of the lower extremity typically causes leg pain and swelling, sometimes redness, sometimes warmth. And this is usually persistent in nature and may get worse with time. And it's also in one leg. It's quite uncommon to have two simultaneous blood clots in both of your legs at the same time. If that blood clot breaks off, it could travel all the way to the lung, causing a pulmonary embolism or a lung clot. A pulmonary embolism usually causes chest pain, which is usually worse with deep breaths. It could cause shortness of breath. It could cause dizziness, lightheadedness, symptoms of your heart beating fast, or syncope, meaning passing out, or sometimes coughing up blood. All of these symptoms warrant urgent medical attention. And some of them overlap with the symptoms of a heart attack, which is a different type of blood clot that occurs in the coronary arteries of the heart. Heart attacks can also cause chest pain, can also cause shortness of breath, heart beating fast, dizziness, lightheadedness, sometimes rarer symptoms such as nausea, abdominal discomfort. Strokes can also cause various symptoms such as a facial droop, numbness, stingling, or a weakness in your arm or arms or legs, or vision changes or severe persistent headaches. When in doubt, talk to your doctor or seek medical help or attention. And many of these symptoms can be alarming enough to warrant an immediate visit to an urgent care or emergency department. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I hope you found this informative. Please check out worldthrombosisday.com. They've got amazing resources and educational materials, as well as ways to help and support. If you'd like me to cover certain topics, or you've got questions that you'd like me to answer, please let me know what they are in the comment section, and I'm more than happy to cover them in future episodes. I'm Dr. Yazan, and thanks again for listening.